welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh. I have this thing I do when I'm about to go on a big trip. I convince myself that I have nothing to wear and I panic order stuff on Amazon. So today it's happened again. Okay. <laughs> I got some things from Amazon. Listen, I just never know what I'm going to want to wear until I get somewhere and then it's too late. I also don't even know where I'm going. I understand that's strange being as how I know, I have to know where I'm getting on a plane, but here's what happened. I'm going on a trip to see my bestie Callie in London and if you have been following me for a while, you guys know that we get into all kinds of fun and trouble and she's just my little feral, feral friend and I'm just going over there. We decided we both need a break. We both need each other. So I'm just hopping on a plane. I think I bought my ticket like four days in advance. Trust me, don't, don't make the same mistake that I did. But I, I was able to procure a ticket, okay? And I'm going and that's all that matters. No idea what's gonna happen. But that makes it really hard to pack. And so I find that I internalize that anxiety and turn it into like trying to control all I can control, which is what's in my suitcase. Let me know if you can relate to that in any way. If first of all, you overpack or don't know what you're gonna wanna wear and then as soon as you get there, you probably wear a total of like two things. I always do that. Also, I find that when I'm feeling anxiety or feeling stress or feeling unsure about something, I try to like over control the things that I can control and then also I will like name certain things that I can name. And so I find that that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm so tired, if I'm honest. I was on set all day today. I had to get up at like 6.45 and I had to be on set. It's a Sunday and I had to be on uh, today. When you guys watch this, it's not gonna be, but I was on. I had to be on set at eight and then I had a full set day and I leave tomorrow at, uh, I have to be at the airport at like two. And I haven't packed, I haven't done laundry. I've got a dinner tonight uh, at eight, like with a friend that's also a client and it's something that is important, so. Yeah, I'm also trying to go to Trader Joe's to get some last minute things from Cali because as much as we love our special like British chocolate and things, if you guys have an international treat that you love, especially if it is available in Europe, please comment below and let me know if I need to try it. My favorite is this special Cadbury chocolate, which of course I, if you guys have watched my stuff for a while, you've seen me talk about it. It's like marvelous creations, like with popping candy. It's I actually still have one in the cupboard I could show you, but let's stay on track. Um, it's probably really gross and old. I'm gonna be getting a whole new supply. Anyway, I have to go to Trader Joe's and get some stuff for Cali. Just like, you know how it is, go leaving for a trip. There's a million things that need to be done and not enough time to do them. Uh, so anyway, all that to say, I've been feeling a little stressed, but I do have to try this stuff on. And so one of the things on my list is to try on this stuff so that I can get my returns packaged before I leave. So I get that money back, honey, because we're traveling. And then also, so I know what I'm bringing with me because I feel like when I'm traveling in unknown places, what makes me feel safest is at least my little creature comforts, my little accoutrement. So without further ado, this is a little Amazon summer haul um, of things I thought would be helpful for my trip. Um, so it's like travel and summer all in one. Uh, so I hope it's helpful because there are things that I got for myself uh, to help me pack or for travel or whatever. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna quit babbling. Let's basically, you guys are my insurance policy to make sure that I open these boxes, return stuff. You know what I'm saying? So let's just do it. I hope you guys are well. Oh, if you're new to my channel, it is always this chaotic and this is just the way I'm sorry. I'm not, I shouldn't apologize. You guys are always reminding me not to apologize for taking up space and that's something I say to you all the time. So if for some reason you resonate with the chaos and whatever's going on here, I'd love to have you stick around, but let's see if you like the video first. If you're a returning BFF, thanks for being here. You guys light up my life and some of you were freaking out over the little accidental sparky slip that happened on a previous video, so. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, this is a Skims bralette. I just love it. It's just so soft and comfortable. And I wore this under, but I feel like you can get away with it without a bra, but these pants are brilliant. Um, go check out that video if you're curious about this, or it will be linked to my like to know it, which will be linked in my description. Box number one. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh, I'm actually super excited about this. This is something I have been wanting and needing. So I'm just gonna show it to you guys. I hope it's, now that I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm like, is this practical or not? It depends, it depends. What this is, okay, hold on. I do think this is gonna come in handy for life. Um, it's a sunglass holder. It's actually way cuter than I thought it was gonna be. It's like packaged really cute. 
Um, so it's a little sunglass holder that holds five pairs of sunglasses safely because um, my sun I don't want my sunglasses to get crushed and I tend to just like throw them in my suitcase and it doesn't usually go well. So I got this little thing thinking I could just like tuck it and that it would like keep all my sunglasses safe and in one place. And I just think you could keep this at your house, like in your drawer or wherever, or if you are traveling, they make them in three as well. Cause I know five is excessive, but if you haven't met me, I'm excessive. So I will make sure to link this. I'm probably going to do a little packing video. Um, but, uh, this one, two, three. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. There, I can count. For a second I thought there was an extra and I was like, wee woo! No. Um, but anyway, I think this is cool. It has like a little um, Velcro thing to hold each pair into, especially if you like nicer designer sunglasses or sunglasses you wanna keep, keep nice. Um, like I said, they have it in a three pack as well. And I like that it has a little hangy doodle. So if you are like in a hotel room, it's easy. If you're, if you're a fashion girl and you like to have multiple pairs of sunglasses, I, I do. I do. And I usually keep mine loose in my purse. They get all gross and whatever. And so I thought I can have one pair out a day and try to be more organized this trip. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. I just posted about this dress on my Instagram and then I saw that it came. Oh, it's even, oh, it's so much prettier in person. Oh my gosh. Um, then I saw this color and I just had to have it. I, got, I don't even know what color you'd call this because it is kind of like a tie dye moment. Um, but it's so cute. So it's just a little slip dress from the drop. The first, I have it in lime green in an extra large and it fits like a little more like bodycon. And so I wanted to see what it would look like really loose. So I ordered an XXL. Um, so like I ordered a size up than what I would normally order to see if it would like fit over the bod really well. Let's see. Okay, so this is interesting because it doesn't seem that much looser than the extra large for some reason. Like the extra large fits about like this where it's, it clings in good places, okay? Like I think it looks good here and I think it looks good here. But if you're debating between the two sizes, I don't really, I was hoping to have an answer for you all. First of all, can we talk about how cute these look? This looks with these slides. You know I love my favorite Dolce Vita slides. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm fine. Mine are really getting beat because I've been wearing them nonstop, but I love them. Um, these, I will be bringing these on my trip. These are, I think they're still on sale for 59 from 100. So if they are, run, don't walk. Uh, but yeah, so the other, the, I have this dress in green and it's like maybe a little snugger here, but I think that it like glides nicely here. But like, I just have a little bit of a pooch and that's just what it is. Like, I don't expect clothes to miraculously like make it disappear. I like that there's double slits. This dress comes in 17, 17 colors. And it comes from like an extra two XL, two, sorry, double extra small up to a five X, I think, which is why I really love it. Cause I feel like it's one of those dresses that so many of my babes can wear and they have it in black. The other one I have, I like keep looking over there cause I thought it was on my rack but I have it in the lime green and you guys always comment on it when I wear it. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try another color and also share this resource because it's really good. It's Amazon the drop. Uh, yeah, I, I really love, I just thought this color combo was very like European summer. I think it's really cute. Um, this little, hold on, this little like bra section is being kind of weird. I need to pull this little liner down. There we go. So yeah, I don't know, I think it's like pretty. I think it looks like, gelato or sorbet or something. And so they have tons of fun colors. Check this one out. Okay, then I wanted some like fun summer bags just to like bring that were like light and cute and like small because I feel like, I don't know, my bag's big and I don't want to carry the whole bag the whole time. Anyway, I just want some cute bags, okay? So I love how I have to justify everything. <laughs> so this is like a little net bag. I just thought it was super cute. It has this little like leatherish bottom. And I like, so when I'm traveling, like I want a hand to eat ice cream. I want a hand to video stuff. So I liked that this kind of went on your, your arm like this. This would be so cute as like a wedding guest or um, if you're traveling anywhere tropical, it's very cute. It will probably just fit 
my cell phone, which is like kind of a criteria for me, but it has this little removable bag. So if you don't want the netting to be completely see-through, it's drawstring, so you could put like valuables and stuff in there. Um, but I just thought this was cute, and I think it's like $20. You can actually get a two-pack for like $29, I think, of the white and this like tan. And I just think it's cute. It's small. It's smaller than I expected, honestly. Um, so let's just see if our phone fits in it, because if our phone doesn't fit in it, then we don't get to keep it, okay? That's my new rule in life. It's a hard rule to abide by, okay? It's not It's not easy. No, no one said it was. All that matters is that my phone, yes, my phone fits. We're golden. I've got the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I've got the biggest, fattest iPhone there is and it still fits, so cool. Well, that was easy. Uh, yeah, I think that this is super duper cute. Okay, long story short, you guys have seen this before, okay? But uh, it's really pretty and sparkly. It looks just like the Colt Guy bag that's $500 and it was like 40, I think. They even have a cheaper version, but I wanted to get a good version. Um, but if you guys remember me sharing this before, I accidentally returned it and I was devastated. I didn't mean to, it just got put in something I was, anyway. We have it again. We have her again. We have secured the bag. We have secured the literal bag. It also comes in like a, like a pink, a purple, a maybe like a lime green, I think. But I just needed this to be like my little like, little like uh, European evening bag moment. It's so sparkly and pretty. I love it so much. So this is definitely probably going to come with us. I thought this was so cute. Online, I thought that it... The whole thing was tortoise shell, but in reality, this is actually bamboo, and this part is tortoise shell. It came in a green, it came in another color, and I kind of wish I got the green, but I really, I just thought the tortoise shell was super sophisticated. It looks really expensive and sculptural and cool, so I just, I like how big and deep it is. Um, so I will probably keep this. It is really cute. I just, I have the like wooden Colt Gaia style bag. And I didn't want to have one that was too similar, like, because I have a couple wooden bags like this. But I don't have anything with this kind of a handle. And I think the only one I have is actually round. So I'm not actually mad about this at all, but it just wasn't what I was expecting. But it does come in other colors. But the tortoise shell looked so cool online. Like, I love the handle. This is really cute. I'm, this is apparently a bag roundup now because I went in this rabbit hole and found so many freaking cute bags on Amazon that I was like, okay, I just need to have a little shelf of cute evening bags because one thing I will say, if you don't know what to wear, the biggest style hack I feel like I've ever learned is that if you just wear a white tank or a white tee or a white button up or black with jeans and you have a sculptural cool bag and good shoes and jewelry, like it doesn't even matter what you're wearing. Like you instantly look polished, put together. You don't have to worry about if something fits you like, I just think it's the best thing ever and that's why I'm so into accessories because when I felt like clothes were inaccessible to me, when I felt like I couldn't find things in my size like years and years ago and I wasn't comfortable enough in my body to wear the clothes I wanted to wear, I heavily relied on accessories. Like I remember going into anthropology before they had plus and maybe all I could buy would be like an accessory or an ear, like earrings or necklace. They always had such cool stuff. But I remember like accessories being one of the first ways I really felt comfortable expressing myself. So it's there near and dear to my heart, which is why I would love to one day have an accessories line. Uh, so just hype me up for that because I keep talking about it, but I have no idea where to begin. But anyway, I just think this is cool. And so I'm always wanting to share fun accessories with you guys because I just think it's, it's like something that fits most people and you can have a lot of fun with. And I think that it's one of the easiest ways to transform your style and to like switch up your outfits. Anyway, I'm gonna stop, but I think this is really good and I will link this one too. <laughs> okay, but the, I'm like literally sweating opening this. The real winner, folks, the real winner, this girl. I, I can't. Again, it looks like a Colt Guy bag that's like hundreds of dollars that I've been wanting forever, which I want to support anyway, like local, like artists and like small brands and stuff like that, but they don't have this exact bag and it's not affordable for everyone. So sorry, but I'm sharing this one. Uh, look at it. So first of all, I want to note that it lays flat, so it's great for packing, um, especially a carry-on because you don't have to worry about weight on those. Like it's not super light. It's not super heavy either, but oh, just look at the little feet. I can't wait to show you. Ready? so good this is literally in my this is the sexiest bag i own hands down look at her look at her look at her look at her oh my god what what and the fact that i just didn't even it didn't even occur to me that it would like because my fear was like how am i going to transport this it's going to break first of all it's really solid second of all brilliant 
I am so happy. Look at how sexy this color is. That's why I'm glad I didn't get that other one in green. I'm gonna the best bags, okay? I'm sorry, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. I just think it's so cute. It's so good and it comes in multiple other colors too. I'm definitely gonna link this one. Be my twin, be my twin. Okay, we're still on bags, we're still on bags, but these are a little different. These are just a little clear. I just thought they were cute. They have like nude um, like details and they're just like a little clear. There's like tissue paper in it, so that's why they have that white thing, but they're just clear little bags. I just wanna pack like my skincare in one bag, my like other things in another bag. Like I kind of used to throw them all in Ziplocs. Like this is travel approved TSA, so I'm hoping that I can have everything in here and ready to go because once we get to London, we're gonna be popping over to other countries and they're very strict about their allowances for uh, toiletries and stuff and so this is the TSA approved size of the little bags that they give you there too and they're cute so I was like also they would stack also I'm sure I can use these around the house so like I just thought they were really good and they come in a three pack you can get a two pack of two different sizes or a three pack you can get all clear they have different color like uh, trim I just thought these were like minimal and cute obviously they match my aesthetic so um, I'm excited to pack with these I'm trying to get more organized and streamlined with my packing so my actual goal is to have a little like ready to go toiletry case that I never have to pack that's just ready to go in my cupboard that when it's time to go it saves me that step of packing my travel skincare of packing my travel toothbrush and everything's ready to go here so I'm gonna be building my little travel kit um, if I have time I'll shoot a video of me packing and show you guys how that turns out but that's been like one of my dreams in life is to make it easier on myself to just quickly get away um, because like one of my stressors is all the tiny little decisions and things you need to remember packing I know it's silly but like I was saying earlier when you already feel overwhelmed or out of your element like that's the last thing you need to fill your brain with so let's hope that these help me with my sanity we're still on the bag train okay I promise there's more clothes to try on I'm pretty sure I ordered swimsuits. I don't know what I was thinking on Amazon, but we'll see. Um, but I want to show you guys this. Um, this is like a little jewelry, a travel jewelry bag because I always have like earrings and necklaces and stuff I want to I wanna bring with me. So I was hoping I could keep them a little more organized in this pouch. So I got this little travel uh, jewelry pouch. It's by Bag Smart. Um, yeah, and I just thought it was cute. So... This, this little gal is going to come with us. I'll probably need to bring... So my necklaces always get tangled, so I thought it'd be nice to like have those in here. And then other like little things in here, um, like rings, bracelets, stuff like that. And then here I was going to put like my studs. Oh, I guess rings go here. There's a little spot for rings right here. This is so cool. Is it snap? Yeah, it snaps off. This is awesome. So rings here, and then I can put earrings here. And so in here, hopefully maybe I can do like my more statement or like my bigger earrings. And then I may need to bring one more little, one more little earring thing. I'm not sure. So we'll see how it goes. But again, if I have time to do my packing, I will, I will show you guys how this turns out. And I can let you know if I think it has enough room, um, et cetera. But what I like about it is it keeps everything neat and compact. And that's just what I'm trying to keep things easy, okay? I was asking, you know who, Alexa, what time it was because I have to go to my dinner and I have to stop at Trader Joe's and get myself for Cali, so I'm just keeping myself on track. Um, I got this little airline pillow. Uh, I don't want to open it because it's already like, but the whole point is that it's easy to pack because I, I have like a big travel pillow and they're so inconvenient that I mostly don't bring them. But if I'm going to be on a flight for 12 hours, if I'm going to be on an international trip, I am definitely needing this. So this is like memory foam. I got, had really good reviews on Amazon. I'll link it. I think this is the one that had good reviews. I certainly hope it is the one I bought. Um, so it just goes around my neck so I can sleep while I'm on the plane, but it compactly like rolls up because I don't have time for something huge. So I can let you know how I like it when I'm on if you guys follow my stories i'll probably share that if you even care but yeah just a travel pillow um this is the most compact one that i've seen that actually has a memory foam that actually will support so hopefully it works i've had this dress for five minutes and it's already been an emotional roller coaster first of all my sprinklers are being loud apologies second of all i mean <laughs> Don't I look like the kind of girl that's gonna be like picking fresh lemon, limoncello lemons, making a salad in the countryside of some beautiful European coast? Cause I think I do. Let me just rewind and explain to you why this has been an emotional journey. Being facetious, it clearly wasn't. Cause you know, I actually have emotional journeys and I share those, but anyway, I was hoping you'd get my joke. But anyway, this is what happened. I saw someone I follow who shares some Amazon stuff wear this and I was like, she looks so hot in that dress, I need it. So first of all, let me stand all the way back. So you can see the length, the little like slit. It snatches, okay? I have my little like Skims bralette, which doesn't have a ton of lift. 
Um, I would possibly even do this without a bra. Um, I just happen to have this little Skims bralette on, but you could do like a lower cut bra or bralette with it for sure. This little, this little thing comes, ooh, <laughs> they spilleth over bounty galore. It's cute. I love the way this fits. I think I'm wearing um, a 2XL because I think that it look, it, they had a 2XL and, and it seemed like it ran small and it fits absolutely perfectly snatchy. Like I think it's so good and it comes in other colors. I think it comes in like a yellow, but I want to preface this because I want, I don't want you, I want to, I want to manage expectations here. Why I was super disappointed when I got it is I imagined it would be like my other favorite Amazon, like kind of cotton woven dresses that almost have like a linen-y feel. They're just like a, like a nice cotton woven. This is like a cheap material. If you look closely, the like flowers are printed on it. I'm going to make a sound. I think if I show you the sound, you're going to understand what the fabric's like. You know, it's like a parachute kind of, so it's not, it doesn't seem like it's going to be super breathable. That being said, because of all the air, like, and the thing, I think, I think I'd be fine in it, even on like a hot day. And I just think it looks really cute. And it's also, I feel like it's a little wrinkly, but you kind of can't tell, like if you roll it and it's in pretty good shape, I feel like it would travel well. It's super light, physically lightweight. So to me, it's a perfect traveling dress because I don't care if something happens to it so much. It doesn't really wrinkle. It looks so good on. So I'm torn. It's a toss up. What do you guys think? I just think this is so on point and I just think it looks so good. So I was gonna link this just in case you wanted to get it. Like when I walk, it doesn't really make that noise unless you're like, I said, I don't think it's gonna bother you. It's just like, I am learning that textures like visual stuff is is something like as I did like that higher end uh try on the other day like I'm really starting to find that I like quality fabrics and stuff like that um so I don't know I'm a high I think I'm a high low girl I think we're a mix of high low um but that being said this looks like a house of CB or like a dress from like Reformation or something that would be hundreds of dollars and it's not it's Amazon it's still not I feel like Amazon's getting a little more expensive is that just me but I think this dress might be like between 30 and 40 40 something maybe maybe in the 40s which I know isn't like cheap cheap but it's like you know more affordable than the ones that I mentioned so I don't know up to you I just thought I would give you a fair warning that the fabric isn't a light floaty like cotton but when it's on I think it looks good. Like, I think it looks cute on the body and I really think it like looks hot. So take it or leave it. Oh, it also has a back zipper. It's not like a slip on. I thought it was also going to be like a pull on smocked back. Not the case. Just want to be honest. There might be others on Amazon that have that. And I think that, you know, there's like multiple versions of different things on Amazon. So maybe there are others. Uh, that being said, I, I still like it. Okay. I still Okay, this is more along the lines of what I was expecting the other dress to look and feel like as far as like the smocking, the like, it feels like a little bit more of like a woven breezy cotton. I am wearing my like, Skims bra with this, so you could imagine that this is, it's just a strapless smocked dress, but I thought that it looked nice. And strangely enough, I don't have anything like this and I don't know how that's possible. All of the little dresses I have have like sleeves or something. I don't have any like throw on, go to the pool, go to breakfast kind of dresses um, without sleeves. I just wanted something super easy. Like I wanted something that if I threw on like a cute like belt and some like little sandals that it looked elevated, but on the days that I just did not feel like I could get dressed, which happens a lot, that, that I would have something like this. So this comes in several colors as well. And I'm wearing an extra large and it does, it's really stretchy. Like I would say that, you know, there's like a lot more room in here. So maybe up to a size like 18 could wear this. Um, they have other colors, like I said. And I just actually thought this was just a cute, simple, like important summer staple. So I wanted to share this one. This one feels like a lot better to me, but the other one is still cute and I'm still noodling on it. Ah, okay. This is another one that is like more along the lines of what I was envisioning the other one, the blue flower one to look like. It's just like an effortless little, like more of like a cotton. So this little part, I think that the back part ties here, but I just can't be bothered to arch my arms up like a T-Rex right now. Uh, this is so cute though. I just, I like the color. I like the pattern. This one is really cute. This is an extra large. Again, roomy enough, but probably not going to be super roomy in this area because there isn't a stretch for anything above like a size 16, maybe 18, depending on where you carry your weight. But yeah, I think that this is 
quite cute. And I think that this looks like higher quality. I really, really like it. Oh my gosh, I have some news. Um, yesterday I was in Silver Lake and I had brunch with my friends and I saw the founder of Selkie. She was walking down the street and I talked to her and I told her, hi, I'm a fan. And she was really nice and beautiful. And she complimented me on a dress. And that's the end of the story. Uh, okay, so back to where we were. <laughs> I just, anyway, I think this, this just reminded me of it because it's that kind of like vibe. So I think I'm going to keep this because I, I think it's really cute and it is like along the vibes of like that European summer moment. Like I've got fresh citrus, I'm having a picnic, I'm by the sea, you know what I mean? So while I think the blue looks amazing on, this fabric feels a little bit better to me. <sighs> Still contemplating, but I had to share this one because this is very, very cute. We love it. I'm in a conundrum. It is 7.15. I'm supposed to be dinner at 8. I'm still filming. I need to stop and get ready. I'm very hungry. That's besides the point. But I was going to stop at Trader Joe's on the way and get Cali's stuff. But I think Trader Joe's closes at 10. And I definitely won't be done with dinner at 10. But if I don't go now, do I even have time? I won't even have time to go get everything to park and get it. So I guess I'm gonna have to go tomorrow, but I don't have time because tomorrow I have to be at the airport at two and have a busy day. I'm just trying to decide, do I like stop the video and like finish it tomorrow for you guys and go to Trader Joe's? No, let's plow through. We only have one, two, three more things to try. We don't have time. Okay, this is gonna be a two-parter. Not a two-parter for you, but a two-parter for me. So when you see me tomorrow and I don't have the hair, same hair and makeup, you're gonna know, I just, I gotta, I got a break for the night. Dang. Hi, I'm back. Look at me today. This is why I had to give you a warning of why I was stopping the video last night and going into today. Number one, my house is a mess because I'm packing. But number two, I'm a mess because look at me. Um, I'm wearing those uh, airy flare pants. They're so comfortable. And then I'm wearing this like old sweatshirt, no bra. And then, oh my gosh, my nail guy, Danny, he came to do a uh, pedicure on me today. He just got back from Vietnam like last night. And he, during the pandemic, we did house calls. And now we're like friends. And so he'll come do my toes. And so I was able to like work and get a pedicure before I left. Um... He's the best and he's so sweet. He brought me this beautiful jet, jade necklace from Vietnam. And I actually didn't know that they, he is Vietnamese. So he goes like pretty like regularly, but I didn't know that they made red jade. I thought they, I've only known about green jade. So apparently it's good luck. So I'm gonna be wearing that. Um, but yeah, I am uh, have like three more things, three suits. Wait, one, two, oh, four. We have four swimsuits and a jumpsuit. And honestly, we were just, Sparky's here. We were just going through like what I'm taking and what I'm not as far as like the Amazon stuff. He was very excited about that sunglass organizer. Cause I was like, is this practical or not? And he was saying, if you have designer and nice glasses that you don't want to get crushed or ruined, like my cheapy plastic ones, I could just throw in wherever. But I do think I'm gonna bring that thing. I just was like, is this a waste of space or not? But if you have nice sunglasses that you don't want to get ruined, I actually do think it's a great idea. Um, and so far on the trip, <sighs> Maybe the cream strapless. I think this this is gonna come. I was gonna get his opinion. It's just hard, right? We have a finite amount of space. So my strategy is I'm bringing one huge bag, like one big bag, and then oh, also my flight is delayed a little bit. So I'm hoping that I get there because I know there's been a lot of like flight delays and stuff right now due to everything going on in the world. Um, but I'm bringing a big bag and then I'm bringing a small carry-on because usually when you do those quick little um, flights internationally, but in Europe, you um, need to like only carry a very small carry-on. Like they've got even smaller restrictions. So anyway, I usually carry a carry-on um, and then I check a bag when I go over there. So I have like one little float about just to go to and fro. <laughs> and then, and like the big one is like the base bag. Cause usually I'll like, you know, be stay, stay at Cali's and then we'll go a few places from there. So Anyway, I don't even know why I'm chatting so much. I just think I'm excited to be back here with you. Hi. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you the swimsuits that I got. I don't know if we're going to like them, okay? I've never tried a swimsuit from Amazon. I'm nervous. Um, I bet, feel like I've been getting a few more misses than hits lately, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but that being said, some of my all-time favorite things are still on Amazon. My favorite, favorite strapless bra, which is something you guys ask about all the time, etc. So, um, 
Although it's a brand called Wacol that you do not have to purchase on Amazon. You can get it through them, through Macy's, anywhere. I just want to note that because some of you do not like um, Amazon, which is totally fine. So this suit is cup -she. I think this is, I don't get how it works. Is it strapless? I think it's a one strap. I like how I bought this and I have no idea what it is. I will say the texture of this guy, I, I like. It's nice. It looks like it's like kind of ribbed. I think the color is really pretty. So hopefully this fits. Um, I'm just buying time now because I'm feeling lazy to put on a swimsuit. Give me a second. You can see the texture here and I'm pleased to report that our first swimsuit is a win. I think this is really cute. I love the color. I think it's just like a really pretty like neutral, but it's still like kind of warm. I don't know. I really, really like it. I don't actually have anything this color. I have more like rust, um, but yeah, I think this is very cute so this little like it's like the best of both worlds it's kind of a one piece kind of a two piece this is an extra large happens to match the necklace danny gave me not mad about it yeah i really like this i'm totally taking this with me i think it's super cute um yeah i think it'd be a cute bodysuit too which is always my like thing um i love 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 this so good okay i will link this one this is actually um, cup she, but you can buy it through Amazon, which I didn't even realize when I ordered it. I thought it was just Amazon. Like, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I thought I'd tell you again, extra large, very cute. Okay. We actually have a rust number now. I think that the texture of this feels really good. Like it looks good, feels good. Um, the only thing is I think that this, it, this feels like a little loose or too big or else it's just cheap and flimsy. Unsure which, uh, which of the two that is, but I like it in theory. Like it's 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 a very cute, chill two piece. I'm trying to think if I just pulled. I was thinking if I. Oh, I wonder. You know, what? I bet you could crisscross the straps. First of all, second of all, um, they are adjustable. Yeah, they're adjustable, so I could tighten it up a little, and then I feel like it might feel a little bit more supportive. So this is a good option if you're just looking for a simple rust two piece. Like I don't dislike the way it fits. I'm just not 100% in love with it just compared to everything else that I have. Um, and I'm doing, I actually ordered some more Andy suits as well because, you know, I love those. And yeah, I just think I, if all goes well this trip, I'll be in my swimsuit like 75% of the time. So I just want to make sure I have plenty of swim options. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know. I like this. What do you guys think? I do think it's cute. It comes in other colors and it's just like a nice like simple suit. I think my only uh, complaint is that it feels maybe, maybe it's a size too big. The, the bottoms feel perfect. It's a 2XL, plenty roomy, like not too cheeky, but it's not that, I don't love that low cut like we've talked about, but I also don't want like a, like pure up the butt. So I think this is like a good medium, but I like, I don't know, I like it. This is a 2XL. I will link it, um, but I'm not like in love with it as much as I am other ones, I think. So let me know what you guys think. We have another hot alert. Thanks to the boy who looked up how to do this on Amazon and helped me because it was hard. There was like a very long string. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? Color, fuego. So cute on. However, my boobs and the pads are like not seeing eye to eye. Um, and I think it's because I didn't tie the shoulder part. You see the shoulder part's too loose. So what I need to do is like tie this part a little tighter. And then I think like crisscross there so that it holds. So then you crisscross the back and the cool part is that the this like snatches you in at the waist and it looks so good. I love this suit. I think I'm going to bring it. The only reason I wouldn't is because I also got it in black and white and I just wasn't sure which one I was going to like better. But honestly, I don't have a suit this color. I'm loving bright colors right now. I think this is so, so cute and I really like it and I really want to bring it. So um i love it <laughs> so i think i'm gonna keep this right i just was shocked i did not think that it was gonna work and i just know that if i just tie this part tighter it'll hold hold the girls in a little more so i will say i'm a 36 triple de so if you've got larger chest than me this may not be a good fit or it might spill over a lot but if you don't mind that awesome um but if you've got anything i would say like triple d or down uh 36 ish then you should be fine unless they make a bigger size which i'm not 100 sure what the sizing is on this one because it's a rando amazon brand but i think this is super hot and it makes me feel really confident so that's really good let's try on the black and white version but yeah let me know what you guys think i think it's really good <laughs> nothing could prepare me for how much i actually love this suit when i first i i thought it was like card deck joker newsprint like weird vibes no it's so hot want to be fully transparent the boob little pads are a little funky here and they're like 
like they're just barely catching the girls so if that's a thing for you you can probably remove the pads um and i don't know it's worth it i just i yeah i wouldn't even know where to buy this in my size or in general like i haven't seen a style like this it probably is you know some designer inspired but i don't know what it's from and so i i'm keeping this i love it i think it's so cool and like elegant and effortless like i was actually in my mind just posing on a beach like i was imagining like how how good i'm gonna feel just like romping around in this it's so cute this one i did the little crisscross in the back here and then i brought it to the front because this one doesn't have that little metal closure like the orange i i just think it looks so hot like it snatches the bod it's it does some optical illusion here i don't know what's going on i feel like i look like a bond girl again Bond girl season. It's Bond girl suit season. This is very exciting. I love this. Okay. Well, anyway, I highly recommend. But I did want to let you know as far as like a uh, hold, if you do have like larger, larger chest, like it is going to be spilleth. The cups are a little weird. Like it's dicey. It's going to be a dicey situation. This isn't going to be for you if you're bending over and picking up toddlers because you're going to put some eye out with your boob. Okay. But if you just want to look sexy and snatched for a fun little pool day and you don't mind getting a little wild, this is the one. I love it. I'm keeping it. I'm taking it. Woo! All right. I'm feeling optimistic. The mood really went up after I tried on this suit. I got this linen jumpsuit. Um, it has kind of this little, like, funky little, funky little one strap and, like, a little thing in the back. Um, it just looked cute. So I don't really have any, like throw on jumpsuits that I like right now so I'm gonna try this little guy on and then that's gonna conclude us packing together well that's not true that's gonna conclude us trying on Amazon things we might pack we still have to actually pack and I did actually I have some other like I'll probably do one more video of a couple other things I'm trying on before I actually like pull the suitcase out and do the deed but I gotta get going all right let's do this we have another winner I think this is so cute so it's like linen -y. I honestly didn't think this was gonna fit because jumpsuits are weird like on you know, like, I feel like it's just tough because how, anyway, you know, I don't even have to explain to you why jumpsuits are hard, but I think this is super cute. It's a little one strapper. Um, oh wait, this little thing got, how does that work? I don't know. I like that it has pockets. It's actually super cute. I really, really like this. It feels like high quality, which you know has been something I've been struggling with lately. So it feels like expensive and nice. Like it feels like you could have bought this at like Madewell or something. XL, XL. It fits like a dream. Cause it's just fitted enough that I feel like it looks really good on the body. I like this. Oh my gosh. Front, back. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. I really like this. This is so cute. I will link this one. I think this is a good one. This is a good one. And that's it. I'm uh, excited. We got some good finds there. Uh, this is a, a caftan that I got to wear on set yesterday when I was modeling for the brand Ripley Raider. And she let me take it with me. And I'm so excited. So this is clearly coming with me. I don't think this is available yet to buy. But if you go to Ripley Raider, she does do some extended sizing of like their high-waisted trouser top combo, which is one of my favorite outfits of all times. I wore it to my sister's wedding. I have been wearing the brand for years. I love that it's designed here in LA by it's like female owned it's a small business um I love like she gives back to some cool stuff she's just I like I love her so anyway it was super generous of her I like fell in love with this and I was like oh I need that for my trip and she's like take it you can take it and I was like ah so anyway uh this is exciting but I think this maybe doesn't come out for like a year or like a few months but she has captains and other styles I just don't think she has this like rose gold pleated yet but you can look you can look and see um okay so that's it I have to go because I have to finish packing but I am gonna try a few more things on but I think this this was specifically like an Amazon video thank you guys so much again I feel like you're my little friends sitting at the foot of the bed like telling me yay or nay and like you know telling me not to overpack but to be prepared like you know what a good friend would do it's so fun to pack with your friends and like the anticipation of going on an exciting trip i hope you guys have something exciting coming up actually i'd love it if you would comment below and let me know one thing you're looking forward to doesn't have to be travel could be anything um but i just love to know like what a simple joy is in your life and something that you're looking forward to and if you are new to my channel i hope you like this video i put my measurements below along with linking everything um i also put a link to my amazon storefront in general um and to my like to know it and i do occasionally sell things on depop but i don't think there's anything on there now but i usually put the link in there because i get a lot of questions of like do you ever sell your gently used things and i do i just haven't been keeping up with it lately um but i do sell them through the plus bus so if you've ever heard of the plus bus you can google that but they do like online sales as well it's a local female-owned business and i love them 
and they're doing great things in the community here and yeah so that's it if you oh yeah like i said if you liked this video and you're new and you decide to stick around for the chaos um it would be an honor to have you here in our community feel free to comment below introduce yourself say hello i'd love to have you and if you're a return to bff thank you as always for your encouragement for your help for brightening my day with your comments and your messages and yeah um, I love you guys and I will catch you on the next video. Bye!